Yeah, okay. Yeah. A very good afternoon. Uh, gentlemen, this is serious. There's no lady amongst you. <laughs> have, so I can't even say ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Ah, yeah, yeah. The gardeners will save you because I see some two ladies. Um, we have had a very good session. And uh, as the as male leadership, as male La Moja One Kenya leadership, and we have agreed that um, our brother Jeremiah Kioni, Secretary General of uh, of Jubilee, and one who was also the chair of our technical team during the National Dialogue Committee, reads our statement uh, today. Mushma Jeremiah. Asante, the, there is a statement on meeting of Azimio Summit that was held today, March the 5th, 2024. We have had a meeting of the summit, which is Azimio Ramoya, one Kenya coalition party's top decision-making organ. The purpose of the meeting was, one, to take a bird's eye view of the, na of the nation with regard to issues that we have been outspoken on, namely the high cost of living, inclusivity in appointments to public service, the taxation regime, and the general health of the economy. Two, get a briefing on the status and progress of the NADICO report. Three, get a briefing, a briefing on the progress and and status of a Zmiu reader, Right Honorable Raira Amaro Odinga's bid for the chairmanship of the African Union Commission. On the state of the economy, <coughs> the summit maintains that the view that the tax burden being borne by Kenyans is unreasonable and unsustainable. The Kenya Kwanza regime is failing the test of being caring and compassionate. Paying taxes should never be a punishment but a patriotic duty. Under the KK regime, taxation is a punishment that is hurting the entire economy. We remain opposed to the 16% tax on petroleum products. We remain opposed to the housing tax and its colonial adatons that make it look like the infamous hatch tax of the colonial era. We are deeply opposed to the high pay rates that Kenyan workers are being forced to endure. We remain opposed to the subjection of the retiree pensions to taxation. We also remain opposed deeply to the idea of subjecting farm produce to taxation. It is our position that forcing farmers to part with five shillings for every 100 shillings they make from their farm produce is unreasonable and cruel. We encourage our farmers to resist this tax with all their might. On Nandico, we have been adequately briefed on the progress, including a number of bills, and to be exact, nine of them, that have been lined up for the implementation of the report. We express gratitude to Parliament for the adoption of the report. That was a product of a bipartisan consensus and wide public participation. We retain the view that the report must be implemented as is. It is also our position that the processing of the NADICO report and the bills should be fast-tracked. Fast Regrettably, we have also been informed of forces within KK, in and outside of Parliament, who are determined to undermine the report and the bills. We notify those forces that should any efforts to undermine or tamper with the report succeed, there will be very heavy price to pay. In this regard, we call on Honorable William Ruto to rein on the speakers of the two houses of parliament and a number of members of the national executive who are hell-bent on drilling the NADCO report and the bills. Those leaders have clearly demonstrated a, a determination to delay, delay, and even kill the Nadico report, which is a negotiated document that pulled the country out of hostilities to the peace that obtains today. Nobody 
should take the present situation as a given or for granted. We also express, express support to the principle of the two-third gender rule and its inclusion as part of the NADICO uh, report. On the issue of the Right Honourable Raira Odinga's bid for uh, AU Commissionmanship, the summit reiterated our earlier stand as a coalition to support in every way we can to ensure that Mr. Odinga takes a seat. It is our position as a coalition that it is in the best interest of the country and the East African community and the East African community that Right Honourable Raira Odinga takes the seat. To this end, we very much appreciate the support of our neighbours and those across the continent who have extended their support to Right Honourable Raira Odinga. We, also, we are also encouraged by the personal efforts made by our party leader to win the seat without relying entirely on the endorsement by the state. And we, will, we are committed to reach out to friends and fellow leaders out there in support of our leaders' bid. The meeting was also strong. The meeting also strongly welcomed the efforts of our country, Kenya, to back Honorable Odinga. We agree this is not a partisan political issue, but a matter of national pride and image. We are united on this. As a coalition, we are committed to stay united and stay the course of holding the KK regime to account and to fight for the rights and dignity of the people of Kenya. In that regard, as we support Honorable Raira Odinga for the AU position, we will also support the right of Kenyans to an affordable living, lower taxes, and a functional economy that guarantees decent livelihoods. End of statement, and I thank you. Okay. Thank you. Just perhaps mention that our sister, Honorable Mother Karua, traveled to Dar es Salaam last night. Should have otherwise been here with us. We have an apology. Thank you. Well done. My name is Emmanuel Toff from KTN News. Just two questions. Uh, the IBC boundary reviews is expected to happen this month, uh, according to the Constitution, but we have a crisis, some sort of, what would be your position on how we can get out of this and do that? Mm. Time? We actually dealt with that matter. <laughs> it's in the National Dialogue Committee report, where we proposed, uh, correct me, appeal, and I, I think we proposed uh, moving from, is it 12 years to 20 20 years, all there, so that we can escape the crisis. Okay. Thank lastly, you. Uh, last time, uh, seven countries had given a nod to uh, Raila's bid. You said seven? Seven countries that... There will be more, I can assure you. Yeah. Uh, how many more have come on board? Uh, okay. Yeah. No, no, we... we this is work and, in and progress. Is he, going back to, is, is he going to Rwanda because he said he will mm. be traveling to Kigali? Maybe he can answer that for himself. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be going to not just Rwanda, I'll be going to many other African countries and um, just watch this piece. Uh, I, I need to talk to many leaders across the continent because you know that a candidate to be successful must get two thirds, two -thirds uh, physically first round or second round. If you don't get two-thirds, then you're not elected. So I have to dialogue with virtually all leadership of the continent. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Great.